All right, you may have heard about the newest scary disease, the Zika virus. It is spread by mosquitoes. And while its symptoms are mild in adults, when it's contract, contracted rather by a pregnant woman, it can result in severe birth defects. A handful of infections have been confirmed in the United States. Here is World Health Organization Director General Margaret Chan. Last year, the virus was detected in the Americas, where it is now spreading explosively. As of today, cases have been reported in 23 countries and territories in the region. The level of alarm is extremely high. Well, that's not good. So what can you do and how scared should we be? For that, we turn to Dr. Barb, Bob Arnott. He is an infectious disease specialist. He joins me now. Hello, Dr. Bob. Hey, Kennedy. Love the show. Could watch it all day. Oh, that's so sweet. I love to hear that. So tell me about the Zika virus. Why is it so horrific? So here's the reason. First of all, it's the perfect storm. Start in Brazil where they have an economic downturn, so they have weaker public health to begin with. You have El Nino, which is pumping all kinds of water into South America, causing flooding. You have higher temperatures. You have more mosquitoes. Boom, you have this big outbreak of this Zika virus. Now, Kennedy, ordinarily, it wouldn't be a big deal. 80% of people have no symptoms. Those that do may just think they have a bad cold or flu. They're going to have red eyes, joint pains, a little bit of a rash. Um, so, you know, just not anything you'd really want to write home about. But if you're a pregnant woman, there is the risk of a terrible birth defect called microcephaly, which basically means the child has a very small head, a small brain. They could die. They could have terrible brain dysfunction during life. And it's just a terrible thing to even contemplate. Now, the worst thing, Kennedy, is this. Imagine you're a businesswoman. You go to South America. You're bitten by a mosquito. You have no symptoms. You come back and you don't know for nine months that your baby's been infected. So it's a nightmare. And the Centers for Disease Control, again, is a little bit behind the eight ball on this because they just always because, are, just though. Like I mean, Dr. Bob, tests. these government agencies are always so slow to respond to these things. And uh, I want to know how you feel about this because yeah. I think sometimes the best thing you can do, and people thought I was crazy when I said this about Ebola, but I was absolutely right, is bring it to this country. Because with our technology and, and the way the private sector and doctors and researchers here are able to respond to something, there's no comparison in South America. Well, you know, your wishes come true because it's here. Yeah. It's in the United States. Now, it's not spreading from person to person because it's spread by a mosquito called Aedes aegypti. Mm. Now, that mosquito is all across South America except for uh, Chile. It's all across India, all of Sub-Saharan Africa, parts of Australia, parts of the Southeast. So it's a perfect storm. There could be three or four million cases of this. Now, in the United States, the Centers for Disease Control is advising women who may have been exposed to get a test. However, the test is pretty hard to get a hold of. Certainly not enough tests for everybody who may have been exposed. Mm. And it may only work for a couple of weeks after you've been infected. So it's something that's really going to play on women who travel to the region and who may have been infected by a mosquito. Now, there's another mosquito, which is oh, uh, no. an Asian tiger, and that can spread the virus up to Chicago, New York during the summer. We're protected right now by El Nino, yeah. but as the spring and summer comes, we can expect lots of it here. That's crazy. Well, uh, how about, uh, we've only got about 10 seconds left, nanotechnology. Will, uh, will somehow, will viricides be the wave of the future? Uh, not really for this. It's just very simple, basic prevention. You get a spray, spray, spray. You got to get rid of the extra water. People yep. have to wear the right kind of pro programming. You're going to have to have, you know, the right kind of uh, uh, insect spray on, sleep in air-conditioned rooms. This can be very, very low-tech. I do all of it right now, even in and the middle of winter. I am covered with a mosquito spray from head to toe. <laughs> Dr. Bob, thank you so much. I'm now terrified. Thank you look you. great in a safari outfit. Okay. That's right. Thanks, Kennedy. Uh, surf and safari. Mosquito safari. None of it's fun. Thanks again.